Well, I'm boiling up some parts. I uh, got this stove and a uh, little story behind this stove. <clears throat> a few weeks back, I, I uh, rebuilt a, oh, a 228 something, 228, uh, 1958 for uh, one of my customers, uh, Dave Mesker. And when I got it all done, I gave it back to him. It was his, uh, it was his, he and his father used to hunt with that lamp. It was a 58 big hat. If you go back maybe, I don't know, a few weeks, you can see the, the, the little slideshow I put together for it. But he was just so ecstatic. And uh, when I told him right before Christmas I was going to give it back to him, uh, I gave it to him yesterday, and he handed me this. He says, I don't know if you want this or not, but I've had this thing for... He said he found it in an old abandoned apartment uh, complex, you know, many, many years ago. So I've got this thing torn down, and I've got the generator and the vitals uh, soaking in the vinegar. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing fired up. So far, I took this burner tube off and, and uh, cleaned it up. And... goes threads right in here you don't want to cross thread that either boy I'll tell you you do that and it's done and uh, that lines up right that hole right there the generator is gonna spit right in that hole there um, I've already put some polish on here I'll give it a wipe down a little bit This is a Coleman Quick Light. Um, from what I can tell, maybe maybe the 30s, late 20s. There we go. I cleaned up pretty good. Let's check on our vinegar boil. Oh yeah, I got the tubes in there and some pieces I'll, I'll pull those out and get those uh get those going here this little this little doodad up here holds the shade on we did get the shade clips uh with it and those are I guess i guess those are hard to come I've already cleaned these burner tubes up uh, really good with the wire wheel. I just thought I'd hit them again. Um, you know these are hot I wonder if this is not happy because it's a little swollen let me see well that was fruitful look how look how shiny they turned out hitting them on the on the wire wheel See if they go in there now. All right, there they go. They, that was stubborn. They came off easier than they went back on.
There we go. I think all we need, <laughs> all we need now is to get the tip out of the generator. There she is. Let's get that blown out. Pour a little carb cleaner down in there. And then blow it out. Now I'll take this over to the wire wheel. Yep. There she is. I need to just uh, get the little tip out of the vinegar now. That little guy. Let's see if we can get it cleaned up without losing it. Tip back in there. All right. <sighs> Get ready to fire this baby up. Now, I don't have a pump for this, like an air pump, so I'm going to loosen this up, hit this with my uh, air compressor, and then tighten it down. Got some pressure in there. That's good. Like it. Get it snug. All right, move some of this stuff out of the way. Ooh. All right. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Karma, the Karma lamp. Put this generator heated back up. Let's see what happens. hear it and there we go this uh, this little lever here doesn't seem to do much and every once in a while a little flame will shoot out of there so I'm thinking that the, maybe the packing here is not happy see there so it comes out of there
And a little bit down there too. Maybe open this up. Well, she's burning, see that? Let me turn the light off. Actually, she's burning really nice. See that? Yeah, there you go. Looks like it's gonna need a little bit of adjusting, but uh, tell you what, uh, it pays to talk to your people and and be nice because uh, look at this. I ended up getting. I think this is for me. This is a. I'd rather have this than the 58. So, thank you, David. I appreciate it. I'm gonna keep working on this and see if see if maybe this will uh, true itself up. Uh, but I think it's just maybe a packing or something in the generator. Thanks for uh, this little quick video and hanging out with me and getting this, this uh, lamp going. <laughs> Appreciate it, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Till next time.